I'm going to speak to you about burnout and how to avoid it. Maybe you've had burnout, maybe you know someone who has, and I've worked with a few clients who have had burnout and it's not fun. Now burnout doesn't just creep up on you. You don't wake up one morning and then suddenly you can't get out of bed. It creeps up on you over time and the, it affects you in such a way that people can't even get out of bed. So what causes burnout? Well, it's from prolonged chronic stress, working from home, working from someone else and having too many responsibilities. It's often working overtime or working whilst you're on e uh, holiday or checking emails before you're going to sleep and then you can't um, relax for the night time because you're thinking about how you're going to respond in the morning or you get up and respond during that time. It's about saying yes to um, other people's tasks that they've got to do and putting more pressure on yourself. So not only do you then have their tasks to complete, you have your own to do as well. Burnout can creep up on you when you're just at full capacity, when you're like there's, there's nothing else left and you're just taking time away to try and catch up on sleep um, because you're just so fatigued, you, you've just got nothing left. So it's really caused from neglect of looking after yourself. It's caused from having poor eating habits so you don't take lunch breaks or you don't have breakfast in the morning because there's so many things you want to do. It's more important to you to achieve the, the goals and the tasks that you, you have instead of actually eating. As I said, it's about neglecting yourself and taking on too many responsibilities and not really listening to your own inner guidance and, and learning about personal development and so that you keep growing and understanding how to achieve all of the things that you want in a really balanced and calm way. Burnout can also come um, creep up on you because you've got bored with life. Life's become very stagnant. You're not doing things that you enjoy anymore and you're just doing the same routine day in, day out. And so what starts to happen is you start to sabotage your success sabotage the results that you're looking for and you just keep going around in a circle. So burnout can be experienced by anyone with prolonged stress and pressure from trying to achieve too much. I'm Annola Harris. I'm an international consultant in energy medicine and this allows me to work with people all around the world to get to the root cause of their physical and emotional pain. What most people don't realise is that any pain in the body is caused from an emotional um, impact or from trauma. It gets stuck in the body and then eventually the pain comes to try and get you to go and work on whatever that emotional stress is so that you clear it, release it and then the pain will leave your body. This is video one. In my next video, I'm going to be sharing with you more information on how to um, avoid burnout completely. And if you want any more information in the meantime, go to annolaharris.com and there's lots more videos on there to help you with your health and to avoid burnout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.